I'm going to record it on my computer. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, hello and welcome, everybody. I am Olechka, also known as the Maker of Beauty, and I am the uh, admin of a Creek Cut Tips and Tricks group that is now, I want to say, about five years old. So, yesterday we had all learned that Creek Cut has made a decision that moving forward, and I believe the change is probably going to start sometimes in April, the Creek Cut non subscribers, such as myself, will be uh, will be charged money if we want to upload more than 20 images a month. So I'm going to speak as a, an educated consumer, as a Facebook admin of a cricket group, and also as a designer. So I have my uh, talking points, and I'm going to start as a, um, an educated consumer. I purchased my cricket about five years ago. And before I made a purchase, I had researched all of the options available. So at a time, I've looked at a brother, I've looked at a silhouette slash cameo, and I've looked at a creek cut. So at a time, I felt that the brother was not a good option for me because it was a bit pricey for what I wanted. So the real choice for me was really between the uh, creek cut and a uh, silhouette. After looking at the software, I had decided that I'm going to go with a creek cut because a creek cut was pinned as a better machine. And that's a choice that I've made, you know, like the, the full package and I became a Cricut user. I absolutely love my machine. I do not love design space. I am a technical person by daytime and I'm a self-taught graphic designer. Um, I have self-taught myself how to do SVGs and I had become, you know, um, my specialty is to create uh, paper flower templates. For that purpose, I use Gravit application. I have looked at other applications, including the uh, Silhouette Business Edition as well. I've looked into Inkscape, and at one point I had considered Gump, I wanna say, uh, which is a free software, but uh, decided not to use it because it just you know puts too much strain on the, uh, on the computer. But what I wanna say is that, I have a good knowledge base about what software you know can give to the end users and design space is just a very poor product it's very simplified product so to, to force me as a consumer to pay for what really should come free because this is how you know machine works like I need my machine to cut is not fair more than that, the price point is not fair. So I've seen a lot of people say, well, like you should look at it, you know, you paying it for the cloud-based uh, storage space. I pay cloud-based storage space to Google. I get a lot more storage space and I pay a lot less money. So I want to know why am I paying $10? As a designer, I can tell you that some of my files, they easily can have up to 15 files in it, right? In order to create like one paper flower. So, you know, some people have were saying how you can use um, a sort of like a bundle approach where you put all of your files into one and you upload it at once. Well, I can tell you that does not work with design space. Design space does not like large files. So I feel that, you know, like everything has been stacked against us and it's really forcing us, you know, to into something that we would not have as consumers otherwise have chosen. I also feel that Cricut as a company had recognized the power and the success that companies such as Design Bundle or Dreaming, ha you know, Dreaming Tree have, which create much more complex um, SVGs. And so this is an unfair attempt to cut out the competition because I believe that some people don't have more than $10 a month to pay for the files, right? And so now if they're forced to pay this to the uh, CreCut, then they will not look at my files. You know, I mean, they no longer have an additional five, ten dollars to go and look elsewhere. They will be forced to use what is in a Krika subscription. It, it, it's to me, this is not what I had signed up for. Uh, this has not been a very sought out uh, change. I feel it's disrespectful to me as a consumer. It's disrespectful to many, many, you know, like other consumers such as myself. And I feel this is a stark example of the corporate greed and unfair uh, practices. And so the purpose of this video is to share this feedback, you know, to share it with a uh, Cricut, hopefully leadership so that you hear from people like me 
who have dearly loved some aspects of your product. And, you know, we're here to tell you, you're not being fair. You're changing the rules of the game. You're not doing it in a mindful, thoughtful, uh, respectable and uh, responsible way. And, um, you know, I invite you to rethink this. I invite you to have a lot more conversations. Uh, you know, explain to us, why do you think this is fair? How did you arrive to this? pricing point? How did you arrive at the 20 images? Have you actually done a market analysis to find out how your machines are being used? And uh, have you gone, have you come to our, you know, groups? Have you seen how many of us struggle with a design space? So, um, so sorry, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> uh, kind of like uh, lost my chain of a uh, thought for a second. So any case, this was a purpose very much like on the fly, you know, let's make this uh, video and share with the Cricut. And now I'm going to pause here. We have other people on the meeting. I was hoping for more, but, you know, that this is a great start. So if anybody wants to go, please um, send me a chat. I'm going to put the chat on. And uh, I will mute myself. Then you un unmute yourself and, uh, you know, the floor is yours. Anybody? Okay, so Julie, I'm putting myself on mute. I mean, I, I think that Olga made some outstanding points and, you know, like I'm not gonna run over all of the same ground just because I think she said it very well. Um, but I, I will say that I bought my maker machine um, about, month, month and a half ago. And although it was a significant investment, um, the different um, things that the machine can do, um, you know, were, you know, made it very appealing to me. But had I known that I would be essentially forced to subscribe to a service, um, I would have rethought buying, you know, buying the machine and maybe going with a silhouette or another model. Um, I, you know, I, really think that it's it's disrespectful uh, to your customers if you're suddenly changing the rules. Um, I was already annoyed that um, my bundle dropped literally seven, $70 like less than a week after I bought it. But this is really just kind of adding insult to injury in my point, in my point of view. So not much to say, but that's me. <laughs> so. No, I, I totally hear you, Julie, and, and I fully agree, right? I mean, it's uh, um, the, the, the Cricut had sold the machine under the premise of, you know, the creativity should be free. So then, you know, it, it's like when I tell my kids, mama says what she means, and she means what she says. So Cricut, mm -hmm. you need to mean what you say and say what you mean. So if you believe that creativity should be free, then drop this charge. All right, um, thank you so much, Julie. Does anybody else wants to um, go and um, share their feedback and give their two cents? If you're interested, then just you know send a message in the chat. I will mute everybody else, and uh, you'll unmute yourself and uh, you know share your input. You do not have to turn your video on; it's absolutely optional. Lauren, would you like to say anything? Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm multitasking here, doing multiple things at once. Um, Lauren, I disagree. I'm. I'm kind of. A... Okay. Uh, I just kind of agree. I'm kind of at the phase where I don't own a cricket machine, but I design content for them. So, I've always intended to get a machine, but now I'm like, is this ever? Is this going to continue to be? a viable platform to market towards if customers are going to then be deterred from buying third-party content to create more items with their machines. I'm, I'm just kind of watching and seeing how this plays out because it's really only been about 24 hours since they announced all this. 
Yeah, Lauren, I'm right there with you. Um, you know, I mean, I also design for people that I hope that they will purchase it, you know, like use it on a plethora of, uh, of machines. And uh, I think we're all in agreement that Cricut is great, you know, about the marketing, the product. And even if you look and, and do the analysis across the Facebook groups, right, you can see that the uh, Cricut groups tend to be much higher in numbers and in a participation than the silhouette. And I think that's, you know, because the Cricut is very well liked, but uh, I think part of the reason why it's so liked is because, you know, you can go to other sources and get the SVGs and create, you know, incredible, um, uh, um, you know, end results. And so with, with, with uh, making this change that, that puts um, stress on the consumer and on the end users, um, uh, you know, I'm not so sure if people would be interested in a third party stuff, you know, in, instead of just saying like, well, I'm already paying for the service, right? Whether I want to or don't want to, but now I'm just gonna, you know, borrow the files from the Cricut subscription and see what they have. So to me, that's a, an unfair um, tactic. So, but um, any case, um, but Basharat, would you like to contribute anything um, to the conversation? before I call it a day. Don't feel pressured, you don't have to, if you don't feel like it. Okay, well, in that case, guys, uh, thank you so much for making the time to uh, meet and uh, give your input. Uh, this has, uh, this change has shaken um, everybody quite a bit. It's been blowing my uh, group ever since yesterday. My uh, business page has been blowing up a lot and I'm not the only admin who is dealing with it. Um, in the, <clears throat> Uh, so, you know, the plan is for this uh, video to be uploaded to the YouTube once I have it. I will share the link to everybody and I'll send it off to the uh, Cricut uh, emails that um, had been shared on the net and hopefully somebody will pay attention. Um, and now just, you know, brainstorming and thinking like out and loud. If anybody from the uh, Cricut would like, you know, officially to um, uh, come to the group and speak about the change, or even go live in a group, you know, to speak about it, uh, like absolutely would be happy to facilitate and host that. So Cricut, this is really for you. You know, please work with us. You know, um, hear us as your consumers, and uh, you know, support us, um, and definitely consider if you are moving the right direction. Um, have a good day, everybody. I am stopping the recording at this point. Okay.